Hello everyone, today I'll be making a Maces and Talons board game. I've been thinking about doing it for a while, so I'm finally going to do it, and yeah, so I'm going to show you everything I'm using. So this isn't like a tutorial or anything, I just want to show you me making it. So I have a box, another box, one box is for the actual board game, and one box is just for extra cardboard. Some scissors, which are good for cutting cardboard, a pencil a doule and a cup of water not to drink and some air dry clay just some cheap crayola air dry clay so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna do this so basically i'm gonna take off the edges here and then i'm gonna create them how it's supposed to look so let me, let me show a picture of how it's supposed to look Okay, so this is pretty much how it's supposed to look. Um, so I'm gonna cut it to be like that, uh, and then in the middle, I have the water and the little islands. So yeah, that, that's gonna be fun. Okay, we're gonna do that. So I will start doing that.
Okay, so this is how the box looks now. It has a rim around it. And this is how the underside looks. It's it's not the best, but basically I used an X-Acto knife to just score the sides. So it looks like how it does in the picture. Um, so yeah. And basically, I didn't show it on camera, but when I was putting these on, I took another piece of cardboard and I to use two pieces, so it looks a little funny. But I just put it on top because otherwise it would have looked really, really, really weird. So then I have this piece of paper that I cut to match the inside here. And basically what it has on it traced out are the islands. So I'm going to cut them out on my piece of paper and then I'm going to trace the, the islands on the piece of paper onto cardboard to make all the little layers. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Oh yeah, and for the water, um, I'm going to use some glossy Mod Podge, some regular Mod Podge, and some paint. So I'll, I'll be showing you how I do that. So now I'm just going to cut these out and trace them onto cardboard. Okay, sorry about the sudden lighting change. It's much later in the day. I got busy with something. So my LED lights are on. They look really weird. The light looks really weird on camera. But I have traced and cut out my pieces. As you can see. So these are my pieces. My pieces. So basically, you're gonna wanna keep this center, like not center piece, but like this this piece that like you took them off of because we're gonna use that as like a guide in here of where to place them. So yeah, so now I just need to trace these out on some cardboard and start snipping them out. And make sure you get all the different levels and stuff. And then we can hot glue them together. And then hot glue them in here. As you can see, I, well, you might be able to see, it's a bit shiny here. And that's because I used some packing tape along there. And I'm also going to use some like along there and there and there. And on those like little cracks. Um because the water, well not water, the fake water I'm going to be adding, which I wish I had to make. And I know that like if you're fancy and you're like using like expensive stuff like wood and stuff, I mean like wood doesn't have to be expensive, but like if you're using stuff like that, you could probably use like resin or something. And that'd probably be a lot better, but I'm broke. So <laughs> we're going to go with my cheap way of doing things. So yeah, I'm just going to add that stuff the more packing tape and then I'm gonna cut out little pieces. Make sure when you cut them out you like label some so I have four, five, I don't think you can even see two, three, and one. And I just kind of put them like this like how they're supposed to be so I don't forget which ones are which. So yeah so I'm gonna do all of that and then I'll be back. Okay, so basically as an example here, I have my piece of paper um, on top of a little bit, bit of cardboard. And I'm just going to take my pencil and trace around it according to the paper. And then I'm going to cut it out. And then I'll do that for the rest of them and I'll do like the layers and stuff. So yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So I'm going to trace them and cut them out because it's kind of hard to do with a camera. So yeah, I'll just do all right, hello, 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 welcome back. <laughs> um, this is another update, things have happened. So it is currently the next day, if you can tell from the lighting, cause last night it was way too late. And after I finished all of this, I was too tired to film. So I just went to sleep, but now it's the morning again. So I've added the tape and as you can see, cut out all the little layers and stuff. So each one has like, two layers of like the same, card like the same thing and it has one smaller layer except for the side pieces which only have two layers because they're small but the rest follow the same rules and basically i'm going to hot glue them together and um hot glue them in here well actually we're not going to hot glue them in here yet because we still have to do the step with the clay so yeah do that and then hot glue them in here well actually maybe should, yeah we should paint them first and then yeah i actually don't even know if we're gonna use the clay because like they already look decent to me 
I might just like do a couple things with them. But yeah, okay. So I'm gonna glue them all together. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I just finished. Are you kidding me, cicada? I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a very loud cicada. Um, I just finished gluing all this together. As you can see. I use Gorilla Hot Glue and the Gorilla um, Hot Glue Gun. So yeah. Now they're all glued together. So now we're going to paint them. So I have a very dirty paint palette and a bunch of paints. You can see lots and lots of paints. And some homemade um, matte Mod Podge. I just keep it in this um, thing. So yeah. So the pieces are like a a gray color they look like they're made out of stone they probably are made out of stone in the show but you know i can't really i'm not very talented and i can't really do that so so let's just try our best i just want to position you here okay move all that aside let's try to get a color so i'm gonna use actually wait no we do black first so do like a little black and then by the way all these dirty colors all over it are dry some white we need lots of white okay and i'm just gonna mix that with my paintbrush <laughs> why not doesn't matter it's fine get easier okay that's actually perfect so we're just gonna put lots of that on our paintbrush I'm just gonna paint that on this. Just like so. Opera style, you know? That doesn't make any sense. Why did I just say that? Sometimes I forget. <laughs> that I'm going to be on the internet when I make these videos. <laughs> okay, so I just painted them and currently they're drying, but while we wait, let's paint the box in a thin coat of white for our base coat. While we wait. Okay, I just painted a very, very thin white coat as you can see. This is just to help us put all the other colors we're going to put on on top. So I'm gonna let that dry, and in the meantime, these are dried. So, I'm gonna add some details with some other brushes. And some darker, almost more black colors. So yeah, I'm gonna do that and make these look a bit more like little stone islands. So yeah, and by the time that's done, this should be done. So then I can do all that. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, I just added some shading with a darker version of the color I was using. Then they look so much better. So now, we've just got to color this in. And I'm going to put a layer of brown. And I'm going to put a layer of, like, a, a watered-down dark brown paint. Just to you know, make it look good. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Alright, and now it is painted. So the inside does look a little bit weird in some places, but... I think it's okay. Um, yeah, because those places are also going to have the little stone islands in them. So I should distract from it a little bit. As you can see, the blue is definitely very splotchy. But I am going to go back in here. And when I add all the islands, I'm going to add some glossy mod podge to try and make it shiny like the water so yeah that's my plan um yeah so i'm gonna add the islands and stuff and then mod podge the water with glossy mod podge to make it shiny so yeah um i will see you when i am done with that Okay, so this is the glossy Mod Podge. I just glued in our islands. As you can see, it's nice glued in. So I'm gonna try to do this with one hand for as long as I can. So open that up. And just put 
quite a bit of glossy mod podge. I have a nice big brush. Actually, I don't think we're gonna need the big brush. I don't think we're gonna need it. I'm gonna use, um, actually, yeah. So we're gonna use the big brush, but we're gonna use it sideways. Not like this, but like that. I'm just gonna split that. So this is basically, um, it looks white right now, but it's gonna dry, glossy, shiny, and clear. Okay. Sorry my hand is in the way. <laughs> this isn't a very good angle, but I wanna show me actually doing something with the painting part. Okay, I feel like I haven't done very much of that. So yeah, basically when this dries, it's gonna be shiny and glossy and pretty. And it's hopefully going to help make this look a bit more like water. Um, if you actually, if you have money and the materials, you could probably use like some kind of UV resin. I don't have any experience with resin at all. So, and I have no idea how to use it. Or especially how to use UV resin. I don't have a UV light or anything like that for the resin. If I did have resin. So, I'm just using... Mod Podge. <laughs> um, probably gonna add multiple layers. So yeah, just bring this in here. This part's a bit boring, but it's important that it's shiny. Um, you can get Mod Podge at like just a dollar store on Amazon, but it's super expensive on Amazon. If you buy it from a dollar store, it's just like three bucks or even two bucks maybe. That's where I got mine. So yeah, get it from a dollar store. Don't get it from Amazon. I'll still put an Amazon link, but like get it from the dollar store. Much, 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 much cheaper. On Amazon, everything's overpriced, honestly. And then there's also shipping costs. I mean, it doesn't always cost shipping, but if there's no shipping cost, it usually is more expensive. That's what I find anyway. Okay, so, just a little bit more there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, probably gonna, yeah, I'm gonna add two layers. So I'm just gonna let this dry, and then don't worry about if you get it on some of the islands, it's just gonna be a little bit shiny. In fact, maybe I'll just wipe that off a little with my finger. Yeah, so just wait for this all to dry. And when it does dry, it's going to be clear and shiny. So I'm just gonna leave it, and then I come, when I come back, I'll do another coat, and then I might do a third, but I don't think I will, but we'll see. So yeah, just gonna let it dry now. Okay, so the Mod Podge is pretty much dry, except for a few places, but that's okay, because they're just very small spots. So I am going to add another coat, because let me show you in the light. It's a little shiny, but it's not as shiny as I like, because it only shines in the light, and I want it to be more shiny. So, I'm going to add another coat on camera, just so you have something to watch, so it's not so boring. Get some more Mod Podge. Probably gonna need to pour more. And put them on here. This coat I'm gonna not be as thorough. Because it just needs a little bit more. Okay, let me pour more Mod Podge. If I can. Just like that. Okay, yeah, that's good, that's good. Make show and get more. Try not to get too much in the cracks because it takes super long to dry when it is in a crack. And that's just really annoying. I'll be right back. Just need to do this. Okay, now I'm gonna let it dry. Okay, so the ward is completed. This is how it looks. It doesn't look super shiny unless it's in the light. But yeah, shiny. So, um, 
we still need to make all of the figures so that is going to take a while so that is going to be in part two of this video and i know that when videos aren't separate parts it's really annoying but otherwise this video is going to be like an hour long and i don't want it to be that long so yeah but i will read to you all the characters i have well not characters all the pieces that we need i have written down so let me get them right now So I have all the things written down in a notebook. Okay, so we need two long ships. We need one Viking chief, one chief of the marauders, a trader, uh, two king ships, ten hunters, two maces, four swordsmen, and one dragon. So those are all of the characters, I keep saying characters, pieces that we're going to need. And I'm going to make all of those out of some air dry clay. And I would use oven baked clay, but um, I'm currently out of oven baked clay and it's really expensive. So yeah, I'm just going to have to do with some um, cheap clay. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much everything. So this is the floor and the next episode we will make all of the pieces which is gonna take a while but anyways i will see you guys next time in part two um bye